New at four, police are searching for a shooter they think killed a man in Avondale over this weekend. Marlon Kennedy is charged with the murder of Antonio Blair. Blair died Sunday during one of the most violent 24-hour periods in Cincinnati history. WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco reports now the community is calling for a ceasefire. I'm here in Grant Park where in two hours a group plans together to say enough, put down the guns. They're calling for a ceasefire. Since Sunday, people who live here describe dozens of gunshots. Police say two men have been killed here, eight people shot, and this isn't the only place these shootings are happening. Photos continue coming in of those killed in the shootings this past weekend. It's extreme. It was how I called it a mass shooting. This woman survived the shooting at Grant Park early Sunday morning. She asked me to hide her identity in fear of retaliation for speaking publicly. On the live. She was standing with a group of people at Grant Park when someone pulled the trigger, killing Robert Rogers and her close friend, Jacquez Grant. Bullets hit eight others nearby. Myron Green died in the streets of West End minutes later. Then there's Antonio Blair. He died when someone shot him and three others in Avondale. That's the only case police have named a suspect in, Marlon Kennedy. This is about everyone. This is a problem for everyone. Safety is everyone's issue. Brian Gary is chair of Neighborhoods United calling for a ceasefire. Because these are people, human beings, that deserve to live. They deserve to have the rest of their life. These are, many of them are children. Today, police installed a spotlight in Grant Park, a tool used to deter criminal activity or loitering. The chief says he's added more patrol officers to these neighborhoods. He suspects groups are gathering on the streets because most spots close early due to the pandemic. No, oh, it ain't because of the pandemic. She says the street violence is not new and relates to economic stressors and guns. Right now, we just plan, plan for better, plan for better. The ceasefire event starts at 6 o'clock right here in Grant Park, rain or shine. Reporting in Over the Rhine, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 news.